In on trade is this nice 1965 Ford F100 Ranger short box half ton pickup. It's an original Raven black truck and that's exactly how it sits today. Uh, previous owner did paint the uh, two-tone the top in a nice kind of a uh, light charcoal metallic and it looks beautiful it really sets this truck off this is a super solid very nice straight pickup it's got uh, like new tires all the way around um, it's got the after or the late model chrome Ford rims which really look nice on it it's got a brand new power steering pump brand new power brakes the previous owner, I need to check the numbers, I've run them, I just got to verify them, but the uh, previous owner has stated that this is a 429 engine, does have a huge high rise on it, four barrel, and the motor runs absolutely beautiful. It's got a, a high performance chrome, decked out uh, aftermarket chrome uh, air breather and valve covers. Engine compartment looks beautiful, it's all painted nice in there with a uh, polished uh, chrome radiator, aluminum radiator. This is a great running truck. As far as our hood, it fits excellent all the way around. Look up and down the sides of this 65 and it's super straight. Paint has a nice shine to it. Just an absolutely gorgeous uh, turnkey truck that you can drive to any classic car event. Drive it, use it. Previous owner put brand new bumpers on the truck, you know, new tires, did the power steering, the grill is in beautiful condition, um, all the stainless and stuff up and down the sides is really nice. It obviously has the 429 emblems on the front fender and the Ford F100 Ranger emblems. As far as our paint goes, I don't see any chips anywhere on the uh, passenger side front fender. Nice gap up and down the side there. The uh, along with the bumpers, the door handles were all uh, brand new. Also, the chrome on them is perfect. Cab corners look great. Bottom of the rock, bottom of the rocker looks good. Um, we've got a few little paint chips in the rocker that have been touched up, just very minor. Rear fender, quarter panel is in excellent shape. I don't see any blisters, anything there, any dents or scratches. You can just see the paint quality on this. Uh, you know, it's a really nice high driver quality paint job is what I'd classify it as. Shines beautifully. Doors open easily. Um, rubbers are all new and soft in the door jams. Corners of the doors are in great shape. The door jam paint is okay. It's not as high quality as the uh, outside of the. Um, it's all painted black. Obviously, it's a black truck. It's never been any other color. But um, door jam paint is is just not quite as nice as the exterior paint. Um, as far as our uh, door panels and stuff, windows all go up and down really easy with all new window felt and stuff. It's all new in there. Carpet's been replaced. Door panels, headliner looks new. That all looks real good in there. Does have seat belts for two. Dash has all been painted. It's got the original steering wheel and automatic on the column. No one's ever messed with that. We do have a couple dents right along here. There's just a couple on the top and there's one right here. You know, this truck was used, so it's got some dents and stuff in the box, in the in the inside of the tailgate. It does have a rubber mat, but it was a pickup, so. As we look up and down the sides, body's really nice and straight. Undercarriage is great on it. Back bumper's new, dual exhaust is new, comes out the back here. We have that gray insert in the back of the tailgate, which really looks nice. Like I said, this truck is, just a super eye-catching truck with that big block Ford motor in there 
Um, sounds great, runs great, and drives great. Box side is excellent. I don't see any blitz, blisters anywhere in the box. Cab corner looks good. Um, down low, we got a little orange peel. A guy could wet sand and buff it, make it uh, even that much nicer. I don't think this truck's ever been wet sand and buffed. So, um, guy could really make it nice with a wet sand and buff. Then he might have a show quality paint. It's got the big old chrome mirror here, both sides. Original color A, which is Raven Black. Models F100, bodies E81, trans is G, axles 08. No body filler in the corner of the doors. <clears throat> Gas tank still behind the seat. We still fill it up right here. Moved the seat ahead earlier and I didn't get it all the way back. There we go. Seat moves up and down like it should. Um, we got our air, our defrost vents up here, and we got our speaker up there. Got an AM, FM digital radio installed. Myers is featuring actor Kevin Cl That works well. Um, factory temp gauge works. Oil pressure is carrying 30 pounds, and that's all warmed up. Gas gauge works, it's got a ProTac in it. Wipers are working. Heater, heater fan works. On, on all the speeds. Like I said, that was very impressed when I traded for this truck. I took it for a test drive at that point, and uh, I just knew it was a fantastic truck by the way it drove. Very tight. Not too many of these trucks have power brakes and power steering. And I know not many of them have the big, huge horse under the hood. Now this truck's just, like I said, it's made to drive. I mean, it's got highway gears in it. Doesn't have 411s, nothing like that. If a guy wanted a, a super hot truck, you could definitely put some uh, some higher gear or lower gears in that so a guy could do that. But this is set up to cruise down the interstate. And it still's got tons of power, but um, I think the gears are high twos, low threes, something like that. I'd have to check for sure, but. The steering on this truck is fantastic. I mean, one finger steers it right down the road. Throws you back in the seat when it shifts. As far as our brakes go, they're not disc up front. They're just regular power drum, but they've got a full pedal. Smoke the tires, transmission shifts great. There's third gear. This goes down the road excellent, does not need an alignment. Um, steering is super tight on it. Kick down works on the transmission. Like I said, this is a truck you can jump in and go anywhere you want to with it. I would feel very comfortable with it. Going down the highway, we get oil pressure's at 55, 50 pounds. Um, we're going uh, 60 mile an hour, 65 at 2200 RPMs. So like I said, this truck's made for cruising. Here's our brakes. No hard pull left or right. No disappointments on the way this big block Ford drives, guys. <laughs> 